So my name is Rhiannon Adam and I'm a London-based photographer. I specialise in analogue photography, uh, and particularly with experimental methods. So I've been working on this particular project, uh, travelling mainly to Preston New Road and working with the individuals that are involved in the kind of frontline protest there and also the locals who live in the area and I've been shooting their portraits, walking around, meeting as many people as humanly possible, taking their portraits and then messing them up with um, fracking fluid to try to show the unseen and hidden effects of what they're protesting about. Um, who I suppose I was targeting initially the people who were not the stereotypical people that you would imagine to be at a protest. I mean, people don't expect their grandmother to be a protester on the front lines being dragged off by police. They don't, they have a completely different idea of what an environmental protester is. So I really like to go and get to know people before I even work out how I want to shoot them. Um, so a lot of it, a lot of this project has been photographed away. Once I've met people at Preston New Road, I've then photographed them away, like in their own homes or in their offices or where they work, just to kind of show the kind of the breadth of the protest and how all these people from different walks of life will end up being involved in this one fight in this one location. So this is Tigger, this is one of my favourite people um, who actually always wears glasses usually um, and so I got him to take his glasses and his hat off and he looks like a completely different person and what's sort of amazing about him is that he was the one that we you know took away for the day he was feeling so claustrophobic and then taking him off and taking him somewhere else he just kind of became a different person and it was so nice to see him kind of I suppose blossom into something else and I feel like with this particular project that the, the fight is not over that I've seen a segment you know it's, it's been a bit of a roller coaster that during the time that I've been working on it but it's interesting to see what will happen over the next year for instance you know will Quadrilla start losing more money will this site work so it's, this is an interesting time because it's this it's like a real testing ground and I want to be able to really follow this and see it through and to find out what happens because it feels a little bit like a cliffhanger at the moment that we've kind of got to this point and then there's this complete mystery over what the future holds.